Merry Christmas, Jagernauts. It is Jager or Jay, and welcome to my special Christmas Q&A. Um, obviously, it's going to be coming out on Christmas, so I want you guys to have a Merry, Merry Christmas. First things first, I want to say Merry Christmas to you guys. Make sure you have an awesome day. Fill it with family, friends, and food, and also have just have an awesome day. And I want to thank you guys all so much for all the Christmas wishes you guys have been sending in to me. I'm going to have an awesome day thanks to you guys and also thanks to my family and friends. So... That's all Christmas is about. Make sure you spend it with your family and friends and have a great day. Um, Christmas is all about giving and receiving and sharing and everything like that. So make sure you have a great day. Now, did you guys see the intro? Did you guys see the intro? That intro is my, it's going to be my new intro. I have had that intro done for about three or four months. It's just the end little bit where it says, Jager, I never quite, um, I never quite finished it. Uh, the designer, the animator that was working on it with me, we never quite finished it, but hey, I've had it for three or four months. I decided I'm just going to put it out there and maybe you guys can give me some ideas on how to fix up the ending, but it's been, it's so cool. How cool is it? It is so awesome. I've had it for so long and I just really, really wanted to share it. I thought, why not give it out for Christmas? So yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy the intro. It's going to be my new intro from now on, or I could mix and match. I don't know. Um, or I'm going to, I really want to try and finish it off, but for now, we're going to stick with that intro for now on so I think it's really cool I think it's a I think it's an awesome intro the animator uh, Ruben Delight I'll leave the I'll leave a description I'll leave a link to his channel in the description down below so make sure you go check him out he's doing some awesome awesome animations he really is really talented and I want to say a huge huge thank you to him he did he, he put so much time and effort into it and it looks just just so crisp it looks really really awesome but anyway guys let's get into the Christmas Q&A today um, we're gonna start off with I think it's like gonna be broke I, I think I broke it up into like three sections so I know it's gonna start off with a little bit about me a little bit about uh, YouTube and then a little bit about Christmas so I, I did get a few repeat questions from last Q&A so I'm gonna put a uh, put a link to that video in the description down below. So if you haven't seen it, make sure you go check it out. I answer a lot of the questions that you guys were asking me back in that video. And I duplicated a few, but I try to keep it pretty original for this video. But anyway, let's get into the questions. So first question comes from Dude11Kevin. He says, how old are you? So I am 19. Um, and I live in Australia, but I answered all that back in my last video. So if you haven't seen it, go check it out. Last video was just a little bit about me getting to know me and stuff. So that's all back in that video. This video, we only have a little bit about me and then a little bit more about Christmas and YouTube. Uh, so let's just continue with that. Um, the next question is sent in from Matt White. When is your birthday and what is your favorite color? So my birthday is the 24th of February, which I want to kind of talk about in just a minute. But for now, we're going to we're going to leave it go. Let it go for a minute. Um, but my birthday is the 24th of February, 1995, so obviously I am 19. Um, and my favorite color, I want to say blue, like the color of my Christmas hat, because uh, it is it is blue. I really like, I really like, I was, I was supposed to mention the Christmas hat earlier, but yeah, blue Christmas hat, it, it's awesome. Um, and blue or red, I would say, because my Minecraft skin is red and I really like the color red. So blue or red, those, those two would be my favorite colors. Um, Second question, or third question comes in from Orlando O'Shea. Do you live in Brisbane? Uh, yes, Orlando, I live in Brisbane. I live in, I've lived in Brisbane for about five or six years. I answered all that back in the previous video. Um, but yeah, lived in Brisbane for about five or six years. It's just a state in Australia, for those of you who are wondering what's Brisbane. Um, it's just a state in Australia, Queensland, Brisbane. Uh, I live in Brisbane. Um, next question. Fear the Shadows. This is an awesome, well, it's a really sick name. I love the name. Fear the Shadows. Oh, so cool. Um, do I go to the gym? Uh, no, not really. Not really. I, I, uh, I'm a qualified personal trainer, but I haven't been to the gym in a while. Let's say a few years. <laughs> I never really got into the whole gym business that everyone at school was getting into. I was like, meh. I'm gonna play some video games, so I never, I don't really go to the gym. Um, and the second part of that question, I just scrolled past it. Will I ever come to Scotland or Britain? Those two places are places that I really, well, those two countries, cities, towns, uh, continents, not continents, whatever. Those two places are two. Uh, two places I really want to go to in my lifetime. I don't know how, I don't know if I'll ever get to them um, anytime soon, but I really want to try to get out there one day. I'll have to do a bit of saving to, get, to go to Scotland and Britain, but I do really, really want to go to Scotland and Britain. Um, so the next question comes in from Ricardo Camer Camerena. Sorry about that. Uh, would you want to leave Australia and move somewhere else? Uh, yes, 
and no. If, if an opportunity came up overseas, I would definitely probably accept it and move overseas. Um, but I think Australia would always be, I'd always call Australia home. <laughs> That's a bit of an Australian joke for those of you who are Australian. It's just an Australian song. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, next question. Sally Bear or Bar, what is your favorite animal? That's a good question. That is a very, very good question. I would have to say probably the cheetah. The cheetah or the leopard. They're just so cool how they can move so quickly. Um, or a lion. Lions are also another really sick animal. But probably one of those um, like cats, meerkats. Not, not a meerkat, like a, like a cat. A... A bigger wild cat, I guess. Pfft, let's just say that. Um, next question, Joshua Hughes. What is your favorite sport and or activity? Um, so my favorite sport is something called AFL, Australian Football League. Now, not many people overseas would know what Australian Football League is. It doesn't matter. That's just It's just an Australian sport that's pretty big in Australia. Um, it's kind of like NFL or NHL or basketball for Americans. Um, so it's huge in Australia, but it's not really outside of Australia, which kind of does suck. But anyway, Australian Football League, it's a really, really awesome sport. I would encourage you to check it out. Really full on, no padding or, ar or like uh, padding or armor, not armor, padding or anything on the body. Um, just full on rough tackling. It's not like rugby. It's a little bit different, a little bit different skills. But anyway, that would be my favorite sport. Um, next question, Lewis, C C Lewis Carpio? Car Sorry about that. Sorry about that, dude. I completely butchered that. Louis Caprio. Probably it. Um, what is your Instagram? My Instagram is Jager. Plain and simple, Jager. Just how my in just how my YouTube name is spelled, just how my Twitter name is spelled, Jager. Plain and simple. Um, next question, Raymond Moradell. Sorry. Do I have a kid or a wife? I'm only 19, uh, so no. I don't have a kid. That would be pretty... Um, irresponsible of me, That's, we'll use that. And do I have a wife? No, definitely don't have a wife or a kid or not engaged or fiance or anything like that. So definitely don't have, don't have that. Don't meet, don't meet that criteria. Anyway, let's move on to the YouTube side of the questions now. Uh, and Evandro Mon, Monretto, sorry. I'm not very good with names guys, sorry. What did I do before I started YouTube? Um, so I was at school, then I left school and I went to uni. And then I left uni and started YouTube. Now I'm thinking about going back to uni next year. And I, yeah, I'm thinking about going back to uni next year. I'm not sure yet, but that is what I did before YouTube. Um, and I also had a job and I still have that job today. So I think that leads into the next question or it leads into one of the following questions. Um, what if you never knew about Minecraft? Um, if I never knew about Minecraft, oof, I never would have started YouTube, but I would have still been playing video games and stuff, but I would never would have met you guys or shared it with you guys or anything like that. So I'm glad I, Knew about you. I'm glad I knew about Minecraft, and I'm glad I started YouTube. Um, so the next question is that sorry that came in from the Epic Slayer 999. Uh, the next one comes in from Dragon Bros. Do you ever plan on having your own merch? That is a great question. I actually really really want to make like a shirt, and I really wanted to make a shirt for Christmas this year, so I could share it with you guys, share it with you guys, and have like a Christmas present for you guys. But unfortunately, I've got some awesome, awesome designs up in here, but unfortunately, I don't have an artist or a designer or, or anything like that who could make it, which which kind of does suck. Um, but I'm going to hopefully look into making some merchandise like a shirt um, or a jacket or a jumper for my birthday, which is coming up in a few months. So keep your eyes keep your eyes on the channel. Come, keep coming back. I'll obviously let you guys know if I can do that. But I really, really want to try and get a t-shirt design up. I've got like two or three in my head, which I want to try and get onto a shirt, but who knows, who knows? We'll try and see what happens in the future. Um, next question, um, Mitchell Link, Link Later, what is your favorite video game and movie? Uh, I think I answered this in my last video, but I think my favorite video game, there's a few different ones. Minecraft is probably one of the top. Call of Duty has always been one of my favorite video games. Such an awesome game. I've always loved it. It is very rage inducing at times, but still I've always loved it. Um, Assassin's Creed, always loved that. Just the fluid fluidity and the movement and the assassinations and everything that game has to offer. So much fun. Um, and also Batman Arkham Asylum, Batman Arkham City, Batman Arkham Knight. They were all really fun games. And just a lot of like Xbox games and Wii games, Super Smash Bros. That's, that was probably my favorite game I said last time. Super Smash Bros. has been my favorite game for so long, since I was a little kid, actually. Um, of course, Pokemon as well. So, so many games. It's a bit hard to narrow down, but there's a few there. So, hopefully that answers your question. Um, next question, Lucario Master J. Why are you not... Well, 
Jay, why are you doing... Okay, sorry. What? Okay, let me let me look at this. Why you... Okay, let's just skip over that. Why don't you ask to join How to Minecraft with Lachlan and other people? Sorry, that's worded a little bit weirdly the way I typed it out. Um, why don't you ask to join Minecraft How to How to Minecraft with Lachlan and other people? And second question, also, do you sometimes feel forced to record? Um, well, I can't actually ask to join How to Minecraft. I would love to do How to Minecraft, but unfortunately, you have to be invited onto that server and that series to play with those guys. So unfortunately, I haven't been invited. Fingers crossed that maybe one day in the future we'll get invited, but at the moment, unfortunately, haven't been invited. So we'll see what happens. Um, and the second question, do I sometimes feel forced to record? Not really. I mean, sometimes you feel a little bit forced to record, and other times um, it's just, no, sorry. Sometimes you feel forced to record, but I never really do. If I do, I'll just have a break. There's been a few times within the last six months, I've had like three days off twice. I had three days off twice, and that's when I just needed a little bit of a break. Um, but the other times when I do record, it's not really think, being, being forced to record. It's just like enjoying enjoying recording and enjoying making content and sharing it with you guys. So um, sometimes yes and no. If I feel forced to record, I'm not going to record because that's when the bad content comes out and I don't enjoy it. So I'll have like a break for a few days and then I'll come back to it in a few days. Um, but so that I hope that answers your question there, um, Lucario Master. Uh, next question, Bajan Fan 101 what is your favorite thing about Australia and favorite thing about America? That's a good question. The favorite thing about Australia is probably the sun, uh, but then I hate skin cancer, so I, I don't know, it's a hard question. Um, no, I really like Australia. It's, it's really beautiful, really beautiful beaches, beautiful place to live, very, very, um, uh, very fortunate. Very, I'm very fortunate to live here, so it's a very nice country to live in, or continent even, um, or island, whatever you want to call it. Technically, it's all of the above. Um, and my favorite thing about America, I've only been to America once, but I got to travel all around to America, all around, no, sorry, I've been to America twice, actually, that's cool. Um, but I got to travel all around America, and uh, it's just got lots of history, and all the things you see in movies and stuff, which you get to see. I went to Alcatraz, uh, I went to uh, Las Vegas, I went all over the place, so I really enjoyed um, America. I don't know if I'd have one favorite thing about America. Uh, probably the, the White Christmas. That is awesome. Here in Australia, it, never, it, it won't snow. It never snows. It's like 30 degrees Celsius, which is like, I think like 90 degrees Fahrenheit or something. So it's very, very hot. Um, but yeah, white Christmas probably. Um, so I hope that answers your question, fan 101 Next question, the secret game of 77. Can you play Five Nights at Freddy's? Stay tuned. Stay tuned, secret gamer. I may have that coming in the future. Who knows, a little bit of a spoiler possibly, but I'm hoping to do something something pretty cool soon, which will have, hopefully, that game in it. So stay tuned. Um, next question, Ender, 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 Ender Hunter, Ender, Ender Hunter 147. Um, how did I meet Lachlan or Craft Battle Duty? Um, so I answered this question in depth in the previous uh, Q&A, so go back and check that out if you haven't seen it. But basically, I went to school with him for about five years, four or five years, um, we became best friends, and yeah, just that's how I met him, through school and best friends. Um, but anyway, next question, um, Luke Briggs, if you weren't a YouTuber, what what would you want to do as a job? Um, so technically, I'm not doing YouTube as my job. I know there's lots of people that do YouTube for their jobs and as a career. Um, I'm not at the moment, I'm not in a position where I can say that YouTube is my job. Um, I am still working outside of outside of YouTube. I have a I have a part-time job and I also if I go back to uni I want to study and try and make a career out of it. Um, I what I was planning on doing is physiotherapy um, or like some kind of game design. However, I'm not sure. They're, they're two different things. They're two very different things. Physiotherapy is over here. Game design is over here. So they're very different things. Um, but yeah, hopefully that answers your question. If I if I wasn't doing YouTube, what would I want to do as a job? Probably something cool, maybe even like a famous sports star. That would be awesome. Um, but yeah, hopefully that answers your question. Okay, guys, 15 minutes in. Let's try and we're, we're going to skip down to the. Um, we're not skipping anything actually. We're moving on down to the Christmas questions. Okay, so the Christmas questions. Do you think Christmas uh, from yeah from Zestella Canned? Hope that's correct. Um, do you think Christmas is about spending time with family, or getting presents, or both? Um, so to me, t personally, Christmas is about spending time with family and friends 
and just sh and just sharing the company and the love and the and the passion that you comes with your family and being part of a family um, I guess presents are a big part of it to most people presents are like just to show um, the the connection and friendship and like love that you share with your family and friends so I guess that is where the presents come in um, but I think it's more about spending time with family and friends and just enjoying each other's company so I hope that answers your question there um, Zestella so next question, Caleb Williams, what does Christmas mean to you? Um, so I kind of just answered that, but Christmas means to me um, a time where you should get together with family and friends and really kind of connect and um, re reconnect even or connect with um, family and friends that you ha maybe haven't seen in a while um, or just want to spend more time with it and just spend, spend loving time and sharing real deep and personal and valuable time with family and friends. So that's what it means to me. Um, it's just an awesome time. It brings everyone together, and I think it's a, it's a really good time of year. Um, next question, Jeweled Oak Gaming, what are you going to do for Christmas? So I kind of answered that a little bit, but Christmas, I have, I'm going to have Christmas lunch and dinner with family and friends. Unfortunately, a lot of my family, like my relatives, are living over in Perth, which is another state in West in Australia, um, which is about five and a half hours flight, so it's quite far away, but anyway. Uh, I'm going to be spending family with some of my family that's come over from us, from Perth and also with some friends that we have, some family friends. So that's what I'm going to be doing, having good lunch and good dinner, just chilling out, spending good time with family and friends basically, um, and also unwrapping presents. Um, okay, next question. Uh, Caleb, Caleb Gable, what is your favorite childhood Christmas? Um, pretty much every year to be honest, pretty much every year was my favorite childhood Christmas. If I was going to say, I can't really say one, but I can say a few things about what I liked about them. So I always loved, always loved waking up at like 5 a.m. I could, it was like so hard for me to sleep on Christmas Eve because I was so excited for Christmas Day. But I always loved waking up at like 5 or 6 a.m., sneaking out and having a look at the Christmas tree and seeing what Santa had brought and seeing all the presents under the tree and seeing all the milk and cookies had gone. That was my favorite, favorite part. And the carrots were left for the reindeer. So that was my favorite part every Christmas. Pretty much the same thing. Wake up super early and go out and have a look at my presents and like not open them or anything, but have a look at them, feel, feel them out, try and work out what they are. So that was my favorite time. And now it's just spending, spending time with family and friends. But yeah, favorite childhood memory, definitely um, being really sneaky, being a ninja and checking out the, the presents Santa had left me. Um, okay, next question. Um, Mike King, what is your favorite present ever and favorite Christmas food? That is a good question. Favorite present ever. Actually, I have a good answer for that. Favorite Christmas present ever would be Call of Duty 2. Now, hear me out. Well, so, yeah, Call of Duty 2. I, hear me out. I got that back in, like, I don't even know, 2005, maybe? I think that's when it came out. And that is the game that started my spark of, well, started my love for video games. So, from that point on, I bought, uh, well, I already had an Xbox 360 because I saved up and bought it myself. Um, but I bought a whole bunch of games, started my started my love for, for gaming, and I guess I, I couldn't really think. That's probably a bad answer. It's probably a really bad answer, but I couldn't really think of a of a great Christmas present or any one that I can remember. I've got lots of cool Christmas presents over the year. So I hope that kind of answers your question there, uh, Mike. Uh, next question, the third last question. To Lego King, what do you like about Christmas and... Oh, sorry, there was a second part question for Mike King. Favorite Christmas food? Honestly, I don't have a clue. I just love all the favorite, I just love all the Christmas food. It's so good, but I don't know if I have a favorite. So sorry about that, Mike. Um, so to go back to Two Lego King, what do you like about Christmas and the Christmas dinner? Uh, so I kind of already answered that, sorry buddy, but I love spending time with family and friends. Don't want to repeat myself too much, but that is probably one of my favorite parts. And the Christmas dinner? What do I like about Christmas dinner? I just love Christmas dinner. There's not one thing in particular that's great about it. I just love Christmas dinner. There's so much like banter and fun and jokes and like playfulness and joyfulness around Christmas time with like the family. Um, so I just love Christmas dinner. It's so much fun. Um, but next question, Anthony Batista, what did you get for Christmas? Uh, that's a good question. Now, you probably can't see it, but I have some of my presents over there on my, on my uh, dresser over there. 
Um, I got a few really cool books. I got some. I got two awesome books. I got a Marvel book and a DC book, and it's like a it's like a superhero and villain guide on both of the Marvel and DC um, superheroes. So that is so cool. There are so many superheroes that I actually didn't even know existed, which I'm kind of ashamed. I'm kind of ashamed to say. But anyway, I really want to go through them. There are so many cool books, so many cool superheroes in that book. Um, I also got uh, another book. Yeah, I got another book. Uh, I got some traveling stuff, which is really cool for when I go traveling. Um, I got some lollies. I got some, I'm trying to have a look at my reflection. Um, I got some lollies. I got some chocolate. I got some clothes. I got heaps of clothes, actually. Um, they're over there. Got some clothes. They got like some really nice clothes and shirts. Um, but I think that's about it. So I got pretty spoiled this year, I'm not gonna lie. I got some really cool stuff this year. Um, and I also got a Sky Zone gift voucher, which is awesome. If you don't know what Sky Zone is, it's like a trampoline park, and I absolutely love it. So I can't wait to use that. Um, but I guess that brings us to the next question. JMO Dow, what do I want for Christmas? Now, if you asked me this like five days ago, I would have said absolutely nothing. But now after Christmas, there are so many things that I want. Like I didn't even think about them a few days ago, but now I want, I need to, they're all things that I didn't ask for because I need to save up for them, but uh, they're all really things that I want. So I need to save up for a few things and buy some new things. But I really want to save up for and buy a new headset because the Turtle Beach headset I've got is a really good headset, um, but I really want to get some Astro A40s or 50s. Um, so that's one thing. Next thing, I wouldn't mind upgrading my setup a little bit, so maybe like a new monitor. Um, what's the next thing? A new chair even. Um, but these are all things I really got to save up for. Um, a new phone, all this technology, and I really want an Xbox One and a Wii U. So all this technology, but I really have to save up a lot of money to buy any of that. I don't have really any money at the moment. I need to save it up. All the Christmas shopping has uh, stolen my money. Had to had to donate to the Christmas fund so I could get the, get some presents for my family. But yeah, I need to save up some money and go into looking looking at buying some of that some of that stuff. And maybe I can even start recording some of those games if I can get like an Xbox One or something. Um, but yeah, guys, I guess that wraps up the Christmas Q&A. Kind of lengthy one, um, but I hope you guys did enjoy. I hope you guys that got your questions in uh, appreciate it. And I, I'm sorry if I missed some of the questions. I just had to go through and pick the ones that I thought I could answer kind of, kind of at like length and stuff. Um, but yeah, if you haven't seen the first Christmas, uh, <laughs> Christmas Q&A, if you haven't seen the first Q&A, I'll put a link in the description, go back and watch it. There may be some questions in there that I answered that weren't in this one that you wanted to know. So go back and watch that one. But yeah, guys, I want to say Merry, Merry, Merry Christmas to everyone out there. I hope you guys have an awesome day. Spend it with family, friends, and enjoy the food, and get some awesome presents, and play some video games for me. And I will catch you guys tomorrow or in the future with a brand new video. I hope you guys take care. Say Merry Christmas to your family for me, and I will see you guys later with a brand new video. Bye, guys.